guys. I know we're all living the busy life these days and sometimes I just feel like I'm pulled in 20 different directions. I get home late. I do not feel like making dinner. I'm exhausted, but this is when my favorite crock pot recipes come in. This doesn't take hardly any work at all. It's elk stew or elk vegetable soup, whatever you want to call it, but I'm going to show you how I make it. The first thing I do is I take some elk meat and I cube it up into bite-sized pieces and I make sure I brown it really good before I put it in the crock pot. Now that I have my meat all browned up, I just throw it right into the crock pot. Now you wanna take a 32 ounce of any kind of beef broth, whatever your fancy is, and I just pour it in there. Now I always get an extra can of beef broth because sometimes this cooks down to where you just need a little bit more juice. So I always turn this on high to begin with and um, if I need some more juice, I see it's cooking down real good, I'll just throw another can of it in. Now, like I said, quick and easy. So here's my cheater. I just take a bag of bird's eyes, carrots and um, peas and corn and green beans, and I just toss that in there. I always add garlic powder to pretty much anything I eat. <laughs> and some Lowry's seasoned salt always really good. You can always add to this later if you feel like you didn't put enough in. Or... Really no rules here. I'm just showing you the basic and um, you can add to this or pretty much do whatever you want. I'm just showing you an easy peasy recipe. -zy. <laughs> now I'm a meat and potatoes kind of girl so if you've got some potatoes you can just cube those up and throw those right in too. So there you go, I just stick the lid on. And I like to cook it for at least six hours. I started out on high and then eventually halfway through, maybe sometimes I'll turn it to low. Um, but if you're really digging this crock pot and Realtree pattern, make sure you go to Realtree.com and click on the store and you'll find this and all kinds of goodies for the kitchen. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this easy crock pot recipe and makes things a little easier on your life. Sometimes I will make some cornbread with this if I have the time, but at least I get to come home from a chaotic day and have some really great soup and I didn't have to hardly do a thing.